So along with new students, Andover also welcomes several new faculty members and administrators to the community each year. This year, there are 23 of them, ranging from teaching fellows to admissions officers. And today, we have two of them with us in the studio. We'll test a bit of their knowledge of Andover with some trivia, but uh, first, let's get to know them a little bit. Let's bring them in. <laughs> Come on in, guys. Welcome, Mr. Arvanian and Ms. Engel, to our beautiful couch here. Um, <laughs> so can you introduce yourselves on what you guys do on campus, a little bit of your backstory, things yeah, like that? Like where you come from, what you do now, you know. Sure, sure. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Miss Engel. Um, I come from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, let's see, I'm an English teaching fellow here at Andover and I also am a house counselor in Nathan Hale. Um, I'm on the Bray Center for Gender Studies board and I also teach an EBI foundations course. And I'm Ms. Carvanyan. I'm in the I'm an adjunct instructor in the Religious Studies and Philosophy department, and I am I don't have any campus responsibilities besides teaching, but I'm getting to know Andover as best I can. And um, what else? Oh, I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm I've been living in the Northeast in New England for the last two and a half years, and I'm excited for another beautiful fall. Awesome! Awesome! Um, so again, welcome to the newsroom. Um, how have your first days at Andover been, teaching-wise? It's been super fun. Like, <laughs> I feel like we've been on campus waiting for the students to come. Um, we got here for a new faculty orientation about two the, weeks ago. The 28th of August. 20th of August, yeah. yeah. And it just feels so empty without you all here. So we're so <laughs> glad that you are finally here and we're starting classes. Yeah, it's been, I mean, just, just one day, just today in class, but so far so good. So excited Perfect. for the semester. And looking forward into the year, um, what are you guys looking, looking forward to? Any like projects you have planned or just like students? Um, do you have anything in mind? So I'm incredibly excited about the makerspace, um, and so I, I am an alum, a uh, PA alum, and we did not have the makerspace while I was here. And so as an English teacher, I'm always trying to think of new and unexpected connections to make um, and new ways to use maybe some surprising mediums to think about reading and writing. Um, and so I'm really excited to do some hands-on activities in the new makerspace, uh, learn what how to use a 3D <laughs> printer and all of these different things. Very excited about that. Yeah, definitely. Um, awesome. I'm excited about the the art museum, the Addison. Mm. Um, looking forward to the shows this fall and trying to bring my class in and maybe work with some of the special or the the collection. And then the special collections in the library. I was just talking today with Paige, and uh, sorry, I'm. I only know her first name, I forget her Dr. last Roberts. name, Dr. Roberts, um, <laughs> about uh, looking at some of the special collections and it's just amazing how many resources we have here, so just excited to get in there in the library in the Addison with my students. Awesome, so given that you guys are both teaching kind of like in the humanities, you're teaching Ralph Phil and you're teaching English, right? Would you guys ever think of like doing like a mashup class almost? How would you uh, like weave in both of what you guys want to teach if you had to teach a class together? I feel like there's so yeah. many ways. Well, we probably both our classes revolve around writing papers and reading <laughs> things yes. and discussing Roger them. That. Yes. So we would just do that t together, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good. I hadn't thought about the 3D printer. I th saw the printer and thought, that's amazing. It has nothing to do with me. But <laughs> you're much yeah. more creative. It'd be cool to, to mash up and We could meet together. in the makerspace. Yeah. Meet and print together. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. And one last question. I think this is a question that a lot of people want to know. As an outsider, or I guess not really an outsider for you, Miss Angle, but uh, what are your thoughts on Commons Foods? Mm. <laughs> I mean, I think it's <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I am amazed that there are poke bowls, um, and like when I went to get some, I like didn't see the avocado and I went back and asked for avocado and they gave me a ginormous scoop and I was like, wow, wow for this free. is amazing. Yeah, for free. I think it's, it's great. great. As an outsider, I never, I never had a, um, my school did not have lunch and like wow. it was, it's just great. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 
All right, so are you guys ready for some trivia questions? Um, yes. We'll have 10 questions in total. They'll go from easiest to hardest. Boards. And okay. we have some whiteboards here Here's for you. So you guys can oh, take wow. one. Oh. <laughs> you guys are going to have, I think Siri already explained, but 10 seconds. You write the question as fast as you possibly can. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so you have 10 and seconds to answer, and then we're gonna keep you'll flip right it here. and reveal it. Okay. Let's go. All right, Siri. First question. First question. All right. First question, it's kind of like <coughs> a, a soft toss right here. Soft toss right here. Um, who is the current interim head of school? <laughs> sorry, sorry, that's oh. so easy. It's the guy with all the hair. Oh. <laughs> of course. Oh. Yes. Ah, there we go. Entry. One point for Miss Angle. Okay. Right. Too much nice. evidence. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just so you know, <laughs> <laughs> questions are going to get harder as we go along. No. So, okay. who can write down as fast as you can the first person? The first, uh, the five clusters on campus. Go. <laughs> no cheating, no cheating, no cheating. I don't even know what a we cluster is. We can collaborate. <laughs> um, oat clusters. Um, wow, we got some, we got some chocolate you. clusters. <laughs> like I said, I'm only teaching. Which dorm were you in when you were here? I'm a house counselor, Nathan Hale. Uh -huh. Obviously, oh. Pine Hill is the best. Perfect. All right, wow. Best cluster. Two points for a single. Um, <laughs> just so you know, clusters are kind of like the sections that we split the dorm, I mean, like the, the campus into. Yeah, so it's like, like communities of which dorms live in. There we go. So, yes. so Pine Hill is like where Sangle lives. All those little dorms. <laughs> the neighborhood. All right. All right, next question. Who is the library named after? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving it to me. <laughs> no, I can't. How do you spell his last name? <laughs> there we go. Ding, ding, ding. Um, thank you. <laughs> do you spell the name? That's why okay. we call it Owl, Oliver Wendell Holmes. Owl. Oh. All right, if you're not doing that one or that one. Um, which, <laughs> which CEO turned superhero attended Andover, according to Marvel? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Sangle getting all the points here. Did you have? Uh, no. no. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I don't even know when Superman came around. Was that like, what, the 50s? That's cool. We're Wait, not that old. old. It's actually Tony Stark. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's Iron Man. We know. Tony Stark. Oh, I Robert like Superman. Robert Jr.? Sorry. Nope. That's <laughs> <laughs> beginning to stick by me. Close enough, close enough. Right. Um, oh, question five. What does the PA <laughs> motto Phoenix origine pendent oh, translate no, you see to. It right up here, big label, you know. Oh, Something geez. that our beloved Palfrey used to say all the time. I'm just cheating, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> His angle is crushing you. She's okay. crushing me. <laughs> she studied before she came here. Well, she studied for four years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, so that's four points. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We're on to number six, right? Yep. Alright, this one, this one's a little easier. I think you'll be able I mean, to get this one. You'll be able to know this. Um, what year was Andover founded? Oh, and this is where people get stuck. We all know it's the 1700s, but we don't know what the last two digits are. Mm. <laughs> 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 what is that? It was after the Revolutionary War ended, I think. No, she, I think. I mean, I think we should give it to her. And there we go! Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Perfect. Yes. Oh. All right. Oh, All right, question <laughs> number seven. Oh, this is an easy toss. Okay. Which building houses the Toronto Room? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you write? <laughs> When all us spells, yeah. GW, yeah. I know that's a building. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow, it's five. All right. Wow. Well, given that it's the bicentennial anniversary of Bullfinch, a lot of these questions are going to be very easy for you to answer. But, um... I don't know about Did you know that Bullfinch, like, burned down, like, twice? It's had, like, a yeah. ton of history. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, the building that you walk into every day is actually really, really, really old. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm pretty it's sure the it's oldest actually, building standing on campus There we right go, now, the oldest so. building on campus. Awesome. Not Pearson. Well, yeah, exactly, and Pearson's really old. So, 
On that note, uh, what year was Bullfinch built? Oh, God. <laughs> Basically the same Wait, what I what I wrote was We'll give it to whoever's closer. We literally are one away. Oh, oh. you're closer to, by one year it was eighteen nineteen. Oh. oh how did we get that? that? You're catching up, you're catching up. Two more points and you'll be tied. Alright. So given that it is Bullfinch's bicentennial, like I said, um, and because it's burned down more than once, it's also had a bunch of different purposes. Different you know, renovations. Different 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 renovations.